My name's Sarah Jenkins, and I'm doing an entertainment. Ah! Mom, you just ran that stop sign! Mom, look out for that tree! Mom, you look out for that house! Mom, look out for that little kid! Mom, look out for that... Hippo. Oh, <laughs> there are many good drivers in the world, but if you're like my mom, you might as well buy the car with the dents already in it. <laughs> now, there are even more bad drivers in the world got the elderly who creep along at 15 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone, trying to annoy everyone behind them. Apparently, they're the leaders of the parade. Some drivers ignore traffic signs, thinking of them as suggestions or pretty roadside decorations. Of course, road rage drivers are the worst, with their colorful language and gestures. My mom is one of these bad drivers. <laughs> She's courteous and obeys laws, but she, well, she hits things with her car. <laughs> no, not people, things. The only thing that is hurt in these accidents is my mom's driving record and the car. <laughs> Today I will be sharing my mom's bad driving with you, her curse. We will see how it all began, the types of accidents she's been in, the types of vehicles she might be able to drive, and finally, how she can prevent these accidents from happening. According to my grandma, it all began when my mom was just 14 years old. They had gone to the grocery store together, and my grandma thought the trip home would be the perfect time for a driving lesson. Of course, my mom was excited to be able to drive. The trip home from the grocery store went fine. She pulled into the driveway safely. Grandma told her to, to park the car in the garage, but my mom really didn't think she could. Her foot wasn't all the way on the brake, so the car was rolling, rolling a little. Out of panic, Grandma reached over with her foot to slam on the brakes, but instead, she hit the gas. <laughs> the car ended up in the garage, with the garage door on top of it, and a small section missing. <laughs> Try explaining that to the insurance agent. A swarm of bees flew in the open window? You might think my mom would be too scared to ever drive again. She's always been brave. She got her license at age 16 and has been driving many years since. <laughs> she has had many accidents since then, and sadly, I've been in most of them with her. One of my earliest memories of her bad driving was when we went to the Raminator, which was a huge monster truck we got to see. The trip was going fine until we were about to leave. There was a huge semi in front of us at a stop sign where many bad wrecks happened, and he was too far ahead of the stop sign. So of course, he started backing up. Now here's a tip for you. When a huge semi starts backing up in front of you, don't just honk your horn in hopes of them hearing you. Needless to say, we got raminated. And a lot of pe people got their pictures for the day. <laughs> Many of her accidents included not looking for what's behind you when you back out. Like, for example, another car, a pole, or even a closed garage door. In past experiences, I have learned that it does not help to cuss during or after the accident. <laughs> Just ask both my parents. <laughs> That's my mom, I always say. The types of accident vehicles she might be able to drive without wrecking were very hard to find. Finally, after countless hours of thinking, I came up with a couple of suggestions. She could test drive an army tank, or even a monster truck, or my favorite, a bumper car. <laughs> On a special occasion, she could drive the presidential one with a police escort. But no involvement in turning and no president anywhere near the vehicle. <laughs> Unfortunately, our local dealership doesn't carry Sherman tanks. For Christmas last year, we gave her one of those remote control cars so she can practice her maneuvering. That didn't go too well either. We even thought about giving her one of those little tyke ba battery powered Malibu Barbie cars. They're childproof and virtually indestructible. But the kids in our neighborhood 
really wanted to borrow it, so we just focused on preventing these accidents instead. First of all, common sense will get you along. Don't talk on the phone, eat, or have any other distractions. We can get her a car that everybody will recognize so they know it's her coming. <laughs> Blinking lights will also show people she's coming. We can cover her and the car in pillows and bubble wrap. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've heard Hurry up and put your seatbelt on. I'm being pulled over. <laughs> While I see the flashing lights in the rear view mirror, and I'm laughing my head off in the passenger seat. So another great way to prevent these accidents is to not speed. Today we looked at my mom's bad driving, her curse. We saw how it all began, the types of accidents she's been in, the types of vehicles she might be able to drive, and finally, how she can prevent them from happening. Who taught her how to drive? I don't know the answer to that question, but whoever it was, they're probably punishing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always tells her, if you can't see what's behind you when you back out, always, always remember, go, get out, and look. <laughs> Another question you might be asking yourselves is, how are my driving skills? My research shows that this curse she possesses skips a generation. I really hope. <laughs>